Hello, welcome to your tarot and oracle forecast videos for the month of May. I'm going to be keeping these uh, forecast videos kind of short and sweet. So for these, I'm going to be using the Rider Waite tarot cards. I'm going to be drawing a card from the Angels of Light Cards of Clarity deck. And also from this Crystal Angels Oracle Cards deck from Doreen Virtue. So let's go ahead and see what the month of May has in store for you. Libra, I'm going to draw a card here for your focus card, your focused energy. It's what you can be consciously aware of for the month of May. I'm also going to be taking a look at the shadow card, which is the less aware aspects of ourselves um, in the month. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take that as the card to be selected here. Oops, if you can see it. It's the Queen of Cups. A lot of cuppy energy, a lot of water energy, a lot of like feeling oriented energy that I'm noticing. Um, so okay, um, with the Queen of Cups, Libra. There's so many things that she represents. Ultimately, she does represent depth of feeling. She is very caring, very loving. She's concerned for the emotional security of other people and the welfare of other people, okay? She's very um, much puts other people before herself. She just cares so much about others that sometimes she neglects herself, okay? That can be one aspect. Um, so it's also saying like self-care, love yourself, put yourself first, love yourself enough to put yourself first, your own needs, not just material needs or physical needs, but your emotional needs, your emotional well-being. You're not giving too much of your emotional reserve, okay? Um, you're actually feeding that, okay? The Queen of Cups takes it easy. She's like easy going, right? So sort of going with the flow and not um, swimming up against the stream, swimming upstream or against the flow. Um, she's very much just takes it as it comes and we'll see. You know, I'm also getting like it's important to not make plans for whatever reason. And it's just like, okay, well, if you happen to feel like it in the moment or you happen to be, be available, then good. But um, since she is so much in the flow, she just sort of takes it one day at a time right? It's not making too many plans. I think that may serve you this month. Um, she's also very psychic. So you could be getting a lot of psychic hits, a lot of psychic um, intuition. She very much is connected with her intuition, right? She does not doubt herself and neither should you. If you get a feeling about something or someone, go with it. That's your inner guidance telling you um, the truth, right? You can always trust yourself. The Queen of Cups is also a mother. She, again, she's very nurturing. She's very loving. So again, um, you know, mothering yourself, mothering other people, um, caring about their emotional welfare. So the Queens, I usually see them as being fixed. She is water. So she's fixed water, which would represent Scorpio. This is very deep. Okay. Um, still waters run deep with her. Okay, so not all is what it appears to be on the surface with her. Sometimes she can appear to be very calm and mellow on the, on the surface, but underneath there's a storm brewing, right? Or there's, she just, she just is sort of a pleasant person to get along with. Um, and she doesn't want to make waves or cause any problems with the people in her life. And it just looks like in order to do that, you know, again, self-care self-care. She's very sweet. She also likes pretty things. <laughs> I love the Queen of Cups. She's very sensitive, but sometimes, you know, especially if she's sort of flipped on her head, she can be a little bit of a drama queen or, you know, her emotions are just way too, her, re her reactions, not responses, but her reactions are out of proportion to what is actually going on. So she could become more angry than she needs to be, more sad than she needs to be. It's like, okay, pulling it together here, right? Um, right, and pulling back when needed because she is sort of a passive energy. Um, socially, she is she is the girlfriend, right? She is um, she is taken care of. Um, she can be a wife again, a mother. So she's also like again her her relationships are very important to her. 
It's important to also put yourself first with this card. That's what I keep getting. So the shadow card, we're going to go ahead and look at that. The lover's card. I did mention that she, you know, is the girlfriend here. She is the wife, right? But the lover's card isn't just about intimate relationships, which she is actually the queen of. Again, the queen of cups is like the queen of intimacy, really, really going deep right? This isn't shallow. She can seem shallow sometimes on the surface, but she's really not. She's, she's very tapped into what's going on. There is an ability for true intimacy with her. The shadow card could be a fear of intimacy or fear of going too deep as well. Um, one of the things with the lover's card is it's not just romantic relationships, but it's just relationships in general. It can be your friendships, anything where you foster or cultivate connectedness, connections with other people. She does that very well. There's some theme that's going on here with, with um, needing to find a balance between being too much involved with other people versus being isolated, right? Self-care also means, you know, caring for your relationships, but knowing when is appropriate to put your energies into what area. So that's what I'm seeing. Um, being there for others, but also being there for yourself. And are other people meeting your needs with the lover's card, right? It has to be reciprocal. She's just very loving, very giving, but sometimes, you know, again, too much. She doesn't receive, um, the love back. It's like sort of the unconditional love of a mother where she just sort of gives and gives and gives to her child with, of course, not respect, but you know, not anticipating anything back, not expecting anything back. And maybe you should in your relationships. Okay. So I'm going to draw a card from the crystal deck. And if you happen to have this crystal, then wonderful. If you don't, that's fine too. You don't have to go out and buy it. It's just the energy that I want you to connect with. I want you to meditate on the energy. If you happen to have the crystal, then cool. You can actually physically meditate with it. Um, if not, then either the color or just the energy of this. But I'm really just more so looking for the message. Show me message for Libra. Moonstone. Interesting. That moonstone is very much connected to the Queen of Cups. Cups, water, emotions, feelings, just like the moon, just like the moon pulls the tides in and out. She goes in with the tides in and out. So again, finding that balance of like what I need versus what other people need. Again, rolling with the tides. Again, I did mention she was very psychic. Again, listening to your intuitions, your gut feelings, they're there for a reason. This moonstone will help you connect to that heightened intuition. Be extra aware of your inner knowingness as it's trustworthy. Perfect. Um, I'm glad that this card reiterated that for you, that you can trust your gut, you can trust your feeling. It's sort of your navigation system through life. Okay, I'm going to draw then an angel card to see what angel you can work with or call upon for the month of May to help you, help further assist you with this energies. Okay, show me the angel that's going to work with Libras. Okay, it's this one. Angel of Encouragement. Look how beautiful that is. Very ethereal, very, very feminine. Just like the Queen of Cups, she's probably the most feminine. She is actually the most feminine queen in the deck. Um, and it may be, you know, it does not matter if you're male or female. We all have a feminine side. And maybe it's nurturing and healing that for some, some people. Okay. The Angel of Encouragement is your cheerleader. This angel's role is to support you, reminding you of the growth you've already accomplished and supplying you with a positive foundation for the growth yet to come. Call for this angelic help whenever you feel defeated or exhausted. You are not abandoned or alone. Okay. All right, Libra, this was your message for the month of May. Thank you for watching my video and for liking and sharing my videos and for subscribing to my channel. If you would like a personalized reading, feel free to contact me through my website, sungoddessashley.com. I will leave a link in the description box below. Otherwise, take care and be well. I'll see you in the upcoming videos.